Oh boy, these TikTokers, I swear, are cringe. Oh, I think I'm gonna download Red Dead Redemption 2. Hey, uh, Rockstar here. You're actually gonna need to make a Rockstar account to play Red Dead 2 as well. That's fine. As long as I can play Red Dead Redemption 2, I am happy. I'm also thinking about playing some Helldivers 2 as well. Hey, uh, Sony here. Oh no, you don't, PlayStation. How dare you? What? Making me create an account to play a game is absolutely wrong. I can't believe you would steep so low against us PC players. Recently, Helldivers 2 has been getting review bombs on Steam. This is because you have to create a PSN account in order to actually play this game on Steam. And if you don't create an account, well, too bad, you're not playing the game. Now, for somebody like me that already has a PlayStation account, it's not really going to be that difficult for me. However, the thing that some of these TikTokers aren't really talking about, more than likely not even taking a moment to really think about, is the fact that some countries don't have access to PSN. In fact, over 100 countries do not have access to PSN. So if you're unfortunate enough to be living in one of these 118 countries and don't have access to PSN, you're not going to be able to play Helldivers 2 anymore. Sony says, give me your money, Make an account. Oh wait, you can't make an account? Too bad, I got your money now. What are you gonna do about it? Hell, we don't even have to talk about those countries because if you live in the UK, genuinely, I feel sorry for you. Because in order to access your PSN account, you either have to use facial recognition or use your government-issued ID. And with Sony's poor rep of keeping their user data secure and currently going through a lawsuit that has to do with user data, it is honestly cooked for you. Your data is going to be stolen no matter what. Even if you are one of these countries that are allowed to play Helldivers 2, you still are not allowed to play it because Sony deems it so. In response to your request, we would like to inform you that the registration of an account of the region of Ukraine is not only possible through the console itself. I'm going to be real with you. There's a couple of geopolitical things you don't want to touch on the internet right now. Sony treating people in Ukraine like shit right now? That's not the play. And with these TikTokers that have big followings and just blurting out whatever the fuck they say because they have a fear if they don't put out any content immediately, they're going to lose their viewer base. They end up posting these brain dead takes. People crying about Helldivers 2 requiring a Sony account to play play on Steam is ridiculous and the arguments are even worse. Now, I'll admit, it's silly. This is just jumping through hoops for the sake of jumping through hoops. The game works just fine and this literally does not need to be implemented. But making an account is free and in the message stating that it needs to be done, they even gave you a link to make it as easy as possible. Tell me you missed the point without telling me you missed the point. Look, but it's okay if you take a moment to do a little bit of research to see exactly why people are upset because it doesn't really seem like you did. It seems like you only got to the surface level without actually going any deeper. And apparently your fans agree because look at your dislikes. It's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Now, for some reason, uh, as the time we're recording, Sony has doubled down and over 100 countries now have the game delisted from Steam. But as far as I know, if you're one of these countries that was affected by it, you should be able to get a refund. So in the end, what is the solution to this? Well, there's one real easy solution, and that is to make it not mandatory for you to make a PSN account. But it seems that Sony is really doubling down on this issue, and it's not going to be addressed whatsoever. Even the CEO of Helldivers doesn't even know what to do. But what can we do as a community to try and get the message out there that we don't want this? Well, we pretty much already done what we could, downvoting the game to hell and just uninstalling the game and asking for a refund. But there is one thing that we can do and not too many people are really talking about it. Don't buy their games. Review bombing a game and then asking for refunds only really affects Arrowhead. If we want to affect Sony as a whole, we have to target every single game that's going up to Steam. Hell, if you really want to go to the extreme, don't buy their games at all. That means no Ghost of Tsushima, no Last of Us, no Horizon Zero Dawn. But more than likely, Sony's not going to change their stance. In the end, they killed Helldivers. We can only hope that they end up changing their mind. And maybe one day, it'll come back to its former glory. Also, if you look in the description, you'll see a bunch of links that will lead you to a bunch of different articles and stuff and videos that detail a bunch of things that I just talked about. All the links will be there. So if you're interested in seeing any of those things, go ahead and go down there. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.